Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tutorial Channel again, and another episode of it, statistical function and formulas in Excel. So in this video, we are going to cover rank function in Excel to return the rank of a number in a list of numbers. So if you are wondering how to specify rank list of numbers, then you have come to the right video. So follow along this video. In upcoming minutes, you're gonna learn so much. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it because in upcoming days, weeks, and months, we are going to cover each and every functionality of Excel. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we have uh, student names here which is actually very familiar if you have watched the previous video so i'm just copying and pasting it if you want to practice it with me you can use the excel sheet which are mentioned in our description box so here we have a marks of these students so we got the 62 94 and we got the lot of 90s here so a lot of toppers so here we need to specify the rank of each of these individuals so how we can do that we can do that simply by using the rank function just input the rank function so here we have two main arguments to fulfill first is number so first number will be taken from this okay we don't need to make it an absolute why because we if we drag down to other student we need to specify the b3 here so don't bother selecting a number to and make don't bother making an absolute right and in the reference part we need to add the reference to this particular number which will be the rest of the students right and if we just select the rest of the students and make it an absolute using f4 key and just ignore the order part because we want ranking to be in ascending order like from the first to the last so we want a first rank to be the highest and the last to be the lowest so close the parenthesis and there you go so Muriel here got the eighth rank in this class and just drag it down so we get the couple of 11 also so just keep that aside for the later part of the video so here we get the topper which is in 90 which is ranked the first so suppose if you want to rank first to the lowest value i know it won't apply to this particular scenario because it's a marks of this particular student but if you want to calculate something which is the lowest will be the winner then you can also do that with the help of the same function you just need to add one more argument which is the order so order you can specify ascending which is one close the parenthesis so it will give you the fifth from the last okay and if we apply to all we can see the first is 50 which is the lowest so it's the first rank in that particular order so if you want to rank a lowest to be the first and the largest to be the last then you can use this particular order to fulfill so hope you understand the basics of this rank function in excel okay so let me just bring back the old ranking perfect so now suppose we have a repetitive value of 11 here so we got the two rankers of the same number okay we got the 54 54 so to resolve this we will use rank dot average function okay so dot rank average function introduced in 2010 or later which returns the average rank if more than one number has the same rank okay without further explanation let's get straight to the formula here so we have a rank average so we have opened the number the reference order reference so now we need to enter the order here okay so we just don't need to add that until now let's just find out so we get the 8.5 rank to muriel here which was 8 earlier so if we apply to all so we get the different ranking to our students so we have got the morris which is 11.5 and same goes to the rest of the candidates so hope you understand to find rank average here using round dot avg right so now we are moving forward so let me just bring back the old ranking perfect so now we, let's create a sorting table okay so i love this sorting table because it will help to analyze our data more in an organized way so we have a sorting table which is this is the bonus part of the video if you don't want to learn such thing like a sorting table and top three rankers using sort and filter function then you can leave this video so you have learned the rank function and the rank average function so now we will learn how to create a sorting table using our rankings 
so we have a rack number here which is specified this but you can also create a drop down list okay using data validation but that will be another part we have already done that in the past so here we have a rack number like this three okay and we have a score here we we need to display score based on this particular ranking we can easily do that with the help of which function if you have watched our statistical overview you may know which function to be used here yes we will use the large function here so we will just use the large function here like this first we need to select the score okay and in another argument we know what does that k denotes it denotes the which largest value from the top so we will just select the third close down the parenthesis here so we get the rank of the third here which is 94 this this is the third largest number how because there are two largest numbers like two and two here so it will just create or selected the third largest number which is also a 94 here which is correct but if we want to find a student name we can also do that with the help of lookup one of the lookup function you can either use xlookup right or you can use index match function because we can't use vlookup because it doesn't look to the left so we will resolve that by using xlookup which is pretty straightforward if you don't have an excel 365 then you can use index match function okay so here we have a lookup value of 94 right and the lookup array will be this lookup where array what is it what does it mean by lookup array it means where does this values lies okay and the return array which return value you want you should select that return array which is the student's name here okay so there's the optional argument also which is if not found that's up to you but i'm not just i'm not entering anything there so we get the hanzaya let's double check it so yes we get the 94 marks which is scored by Hanzayan, which is the third but we have also agnes who has scored 94 so there's the limitation of this particular function okay so let's move on to the next suppose you want to find top three values of your students okay you want to find the top three value of students and you want to return student names also and the marks also you can do that easily with the help of filter function so filter function will will be the topic for another episode but we will use it here to give you an idea how it works while sorting such data okay so we have a top text string written here and we have a value which is three so we want to add or you can say return top three student names with respective marks so how we can do that we can do that easily with the help of filter function and also a large function first we can use that with the help of filter so in the first part we need to select an array okay from where we want our answer to be filtered so we want our answer to be filtered from this particular array right so in the next argument it says include so we need to include these scores right to be greater than or equal to to the top three values okay so what will be the top three values so we will include the large function here and to include the large function we have uh, two arguments to fill once this array first will be the array will be this right which are the scores or you can say the marks and the k will be this because so it will reflect the third largest value so we only need that value or greater than that value which is the top three so we will use this helper cell to be filled in this close the parenthesis and again close the parenthesis let's see if we get an answer so yes we get the top three candidates which first is Henzaya, second is Mariko and Agnes will be the third so that's how you can find the top three players so that's how you can find the top three values using the filter function so hope you understand how to find ranking of a number from a list of numbers and we have also does did the sorting tables like this we have also find the top four like that and the same way if we want to find the 
top five value we can do the same and this particular formula will revert back our desired outcome so if you have understand something please click the like button if you want to ask something related to this particular video then you can just write down your problem in the description box one of our representative will get back to your question so if you want to share this to your colleague or you want to share to your social media handles you can also do the same by clicking on the share button so see you in the next video until then bye bye